Gracias. Buenas tardes, señoras y señores. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It hurts to breathe was the phrase repeated by Alvaro Conrado, a kid of 15 years old, to a bullet stopped from living and following his dreams. In Nicaragua, we live in a bloody dictatorship in the hands of Daniel Ortega and Rosario Murillo, who face with hundreds of people processed by students, peasants, women and men with will to change, demanded rights, the order to kill at any cost. I'm Lester Aleman. I was born and raised in Nicaragua like any other young person. And at the age of 20, I find myself two meters away from Daniel Ortega. On May 16, 2018, my life would change. In front of him, his cabinet, the diplomatic body accredited in Nicaragua, international media and national media, I said that that wasn't a table for dialogue, but a table to negotiate his exit because he was a murderer. I didn't know what he would say, but I know that I should say something. That day I showed the world and to the history of my country that power lies in raising our voice in face of injustice. That day, even if it costed me to be exiled, persecuted, receive death threats, and jail for over 20 months in psychological and emotional torture, I don't regret it. It convinced me even more that we need to challenge violent and oppressive regimes who are weak and cowardly when faced with the truth. In Nicaragua, since, 2000, since 2018, crimes against humanity have been committed. Since 2006 and to this day, Daniel Ortega has violated institutions, democracy, and national sovereignty perpetuating himself, eliminating his adversaries, reforming the constitution, waging absolute control over the powers of the state, indoctrinating schools and universities, our next generations, shaping a dynastic dictatorship under a North Korean model in the tropic. In Nicaragua, democracy, freedom and justice have costs that seem radical. They cost life itself. The dictatorship attacked every form of peaceful process and killed more than 355 Nicaraguans, mostly young people. Has inflicted torture on more than 1,500 political prisoners, out of which 121 are still imprisoned and has pushed over a million people into exile for a country of over 6.2 million inhabitants that should alarm everyone. Given crimes against humanity have been committed in my country, as described by the group of experts in human rights of the United Nations. The regime has done the impossible to silence me, but Ortega himself knows that the truth can't be hidden, that his time has expired. It is done. We still raise our voices even louder because we fight until we reach our freedom. To the international community, I ask, I beg, don't stop looking at Nicaragua. You can't justify economic growth on the base of money being sent to Nicaragua as part of exile. You can't facilitate financing to repress jail and exile nationals. Don't close the doors to thousands of Nicaraguans that are asking asylum in different countries here in Europe. It is time to act, isolating financially the regime, backing and standing with the opposition. To, to demand the release of political prisoners and the safe return of the exile. We expect more action from the United Nations and less statements. Thank you.